Welcome to another day at JSA Travels. It's always a pleasure to have you with us, our valid customers and viewers. Yes, so today we're going to be doing another interesting video. You guys won't want to miss this one. Today we're going to break down what we think are elements of operating a successful rabbit tree. So stay tuned, you definitely don't want to miss this one. Come with us. rabbits we've actually been through quite a lot in our previous video you would have seen elements of that growth but there are a lot of things that we actually didn't put into that video you know from our time on the innovators to applying for grants and so forth from JC right so there are a lot of things that we actually didn't include and right now in our minds we are a success however there are many factors that we think that contribute to, to operating a successful rabbit tree. And today, we're going to discuss some of that. So, what is it that makes a successful business now? Based on our experience, I think one of the most important things we need to know is the market, right? Definitely, most definitely. That's um, one of the first things that you actually need to do before you actually start a rabbit tree. You must do your research. Do your market research. Check out the places around that buys rabbits. And mind you, based on the conversation that we're having right now, we're not necessarily listing the elements, elements. in order. Mm -hmm. Right? So we're just having a conversation about all of the things that we think add to our success. Yes, that's right. true. Um, the next thing you need to know about is a rabbit house or a rabbit tree. You need to know the design or the size that you want or basically how to structure it because you don't want to end up with something that is not feasible in the long run. One other element that you need to be aware of when you're constructing your rabbit house is the flooring. This is important because it adds to waste management and waste management is an absolute necessity when you're constructing. Yes, so all of that is important because it goes hand in hand with sanitation. So yes. your flooring affects how you manage your waste, the urine and the feces, as well as actually cleaning the facility. So all of those are important elements of actually running a successful yes, rabbit tree. A clean, a clean rabbit tree is a healthy rabbit tree. Yes, very much so. In addition to the housing, you need to think about the breed or the type of rabbits that you're going to get along with the breeding program that you're going to employ. So you don't just buy any and any rabbit. You don't just go out there and just say, all right, then this rabbit looks big or I like its color. Not if you're planning to do a commercial rabbit tree. Yes, that, yes. That, that is for the pet business. <laughs> well, not, not even pet, but yes, pet at your house. But once you're going to get into the commercial business, you need to do your research. Check with a reputable farmer. Check with JSH rabbits. What do you yeah, think? Definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely. <laughs> All right. right, so apart from those things too, one of the most important is actually your management and your record keeping. That is the most important part of running right. a successful rabbit tree. Yes. Most important. Yes, management and record keeping is actually very important. Mm -hmm. um, another element is medication. Um, it's very important because um, if you're a rabbit farmer in Jamaica, I'm assuming that you would have suffered a lot of losses from the, the kids. And a lot of that can be averted if you medicate properly. So in a subsequent video, as I said before, we're going to break down all of these elements and we're going to explain to you what you need to do. So in addition to all of those things that we mentioned earlier, you need to also have a good cage system. Yep. 
you need to have a good feeding program or feeding system in place you need to have an automatic watering system in place because really and truly it is a it is really helpful to have an automatic watering system in addition to all of what you have because the aim is to actually make your work easier and trust me it's not easy to be filling <laughs> bottles every day you, you, you can tell you. yeah i can tell you so if you are going to go for it on a commercial level an automatic watering system is an absolute necessity yes definitely so with all that is said you must understand that to do all of this you must have some amount of money so costing is one of the other important things that you would have to be aware of when you're going to do your arbitrary. The thing is, all of us have different styles of setting up our arbitrary. We have different breeds. So based on all of that, you're going to have a different financial package or different costing associated with it. But we're going to break down all of that so that you can get a better understanding of how you can set up a successful arbitrary. You know, the financial aspect applies to all of the topics that we will cover. Right. Rabbitry, mm -hmm. flooring, breeds of rabbit, all of that. Yes, so that's definitely something that you guys will need to, to focus on or it should be placed highly on the list of operating a successful rabbitry. So these are basically some of the elements. Anything else I can think of? Um, not right now, but I guess in subsequent videos we will actually add um, more. I think we did a video some time ago about yes, we did. Um, starting a rabbit business in Jamaica but we didn't really go into so much detail as it relates to breaking down the different different topics involved. Alright so yeah, we're gonna put a link to that uh, probably in this section up here so you can probably click on that and check that video out and um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yes. can check that one out. Alright. Yes. So, with that said, we've come to the end of the video. Alright, so, of course, you guys can continue to follow the channel, subscribe to the channel, give us a like, and share the video, of course. You know, it really helps a lot. Yes. It and um, stay tuned for the next video where we will discuss one of the important aspects of operating a successful rabbitry. So, definitely stay tuned for that one. Alright? Until then, peace.